Hello, how's everybody doing? This is Tracy, Passionately Intrigued Arts. I've been playing in epoxy resin all day. This first layer is dry on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the second layer on here. I think it's turning out pretty, very pretty, but it's it's really full. It's, it's a little busy. So I'm just gonna pour a clear coat cover and then I probably will have one more coat one more layer after that layer dries so I'm using um, this dragon dragonfly glaze and it is in what color so much glare on here I can't see I'll let you know So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. It's an acrylic paint, and you don't want to use too much acrylic. And I don't want this cloudy at all, but it gives an iridescent look. Um, it looks like it's in shades of purple and red. I don't know if you can see it up in here. But maybe when I put this second layer on, you will. It mixes pretty much translucent. Just don't add too much, and I hope I didn't. Because I really want this second layer clear. But I did want a little sparkle in it, so let's see. I'll pour a little bit. Looks pretty clear to me. So, with all these shells and these holes and things going on in this mold, I'm going to have quite a few bubbles, so I'm going to have to watch this carefully after I pour the resin and use uh, alcohol, spray alcohol on them to keep the uh, bubbles down, but at first I torch it, because usually the big bubbles come up. I found my lights and they are seahorses and I just put them around the edge. Three edges, not on the bottom. Yeah, it's pretty. That dragonfly glaze has a really beautiful iridescent color to it. So it didn't quite cover everything. This shell is still open, but that's okay. And so far, I don't have to uh, torch. So I'll just hit it with a little bit of alcohol to get the tiny, tiny bubbles out. So I'll let this dry overnight because it's late and then I'll put the last, well I'm not about an inch left, it may take one or two more, but what I'm going to do once this has cured, um, I have these little fish, they were charms, they were on charms and this, uh, just these two little things were in a huge package that I received from Crafty Leo. So I knew this stuff would come in slowly but surely, come in handy. So I'm going to put these two fish in, on the shells, like one on the gold shell and one on the sand dollar once this cures. And then it's going to give it a 3D look. This video is going to be like all over the place. In um, the middle. I'm adding next a clip to where I put the second layer on to let you guys uh, finish, I think, finish this sea creature, sea urchin, sea escape resin mold in its completion. This second layer has cured completely and I've added the uh, stainless steel 
uh, fish in here. A couple of just plain stainless steel, and these are enameled. And then I have Jesus fish right here. So I'm going to pour this last. Hopefully this is the last. This is 400 milliliters of uh, epoxy that I mixed up, and it's just clear. I don't have anything in it. I just want clear coat on top of this. So I pour it slowly, trying to avoid bubbles. There's going to be tiny bubbles in here that I'll get out. But so far, it's done pretty good. It's 400 milliliters. Let's see how high it gets up. And you know, you don't always have to fill this all the way to the top. I think it's like two inches wide. So it doesn't have to be that wide. As long as you cover all of your items, you can be good. And I think we're going to be good. It's coming to about a fourth of an inch from the top. And that's going to be just fine for me. So once this is cured, I'm done. I'll unmold it. And clean off the edges the sharp edges and it's a wrap if you don't scrape out all of your epoxy like I normally do you can flip this cup over upside down and let it drain and then you're able to peel out once it cures once it dries you're able to peel out in one piece usually the dried epoxy so that's what I'm gonna do flip my cup so I just see a few tiny air bubbles and I'm just gonna spray it with the alcohol and this is 90 98 97 90 90 something percent alcohol hit it a couple times and just watch it for a while uh, it should be fine So we'll come back when it's completely cured and I unmold this beautiful piece. Being that this mold, that this is dried and cured and finished, I'm adding this to this video as well. As you can see, if you can see, I have added the fish in here and I have the enameled fish and two stainless steel fish and the Jesus fish. So let me unmold so that you can see the final results of this, other than me trimming up the edges of this mold. Now this one is smaller, a smaller mold. This is square instead of a rectangle, um, smaller than the flowers the roses that I did. Roses, incarnations, and baby's breath. Ah! Yeah, it's uh, tight. So, oh, that's the back. Okay. <sighs> Resin didn't get in there. You see that little corner? I can fill that in and let it uh, set up with some uh, UV resin just to finish that off, right? So that was that sand and the resin didn't penetrate all the way through. But this is the back of it. And let me flip it over so you can see the sides and then the front. And it is so pretty. I thought it was rather filled, you know, but it still turned out pretty. So let me shake this little bit of sand off of this so that I can show you that I put these I don't know if you can see those seahorses. They're lights, and I'm gonna turn that on for you. Okay, put that back down. And let me lay this down. And uh, here we go. Voila. Too bad it's not dark, so you can really see the effect. But that is pretty, very pretty. How you like?
Okay, that is all good, people. I'm going to um, attach this onto the back and probably put this on a tile to stand it up as such. I don't necessarily have to put it on a tile, but sometimes they really look nice when they're sitting on top of something as well. I have this one, which should be the right size. And see what that does? And then I can put this block for the batteries right on the back of that tile and attach this wire so that it's not sticking out. But that's that would be cute. I have a shorter one. Let's see if this one's long enough. I don't know. It's not bad either. It fits almost just perfect. Like that. But we'll see. We'll see. Thank you so much. Once again, the video is done. I am complete. I am done. I'm just going to clean these edges up and get this right. So that, because they're sharp. And I'm done with this one. Thank you so much. I think I'm done with the resin for a minute. I think. I hope. On to the next. Peace and love. We'll see you out there in those YouTube streets. Hold on. Wait you a did. minute. I'm not you quite missed. all the way out. I wanted to I'm show out. you the unmolding of the other resin projects that I have done. Sit back for just a few more minutes and here we go. Then I'll be done. I think. Okay? Thank you. Look at this. It is done. It is cured. I put some finishing touches in here. I added those crystals and then right here it says love. I don't know if you can see it. It's with an arrow. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Let me move this resin, these cups and things out of my way. unmolds good okay strong mold if I can get this joker out of here it is beautiful I just have to clean up the edges of this I won't do it on this video but normally these front edges are sharp. Uh-oh, see how sharp that is? Cut my glove. They're not, you know, scissor sharp, but come on. Okay. It's got suction too. Whew! That was a job. Look at this. It turned out beautiful. Let me get in the camera. Wow. So nice. Look, even the back, you see most of the uh, silver leaf that I put in, it kind of fell to the bottom because this was turned over this way. So this represents, uh, this is the flop, these are the flowers from my middle child's anniversary, I believe he told me. And he wanted me to preserve them in resin. Okay, that I did today. It's pretty heavy, too. I'm going to put this on a scale, see how much it weighs. And I think it took about, wow, I don't want to scratch my table. I think it took about, let me think, about 1,200 milligrams of epoxy resin. I can take these off. I tore them up. I got one more that I was working on. This is, uh, he wanted it as an ashtray skin color. These hands that are like this, this mold that I have. So let me unmold this one as well. I use alcohol ink in here, brown and white. And it wasn't like this when I left it. It, uh, it moves, but it still turned out pretty. This is the bottom, so you won't even really see it. But I used that uh, dragonfly glaze and I used some brown alcohol ink for this color. It's kind of a translucent color. It's not real dark. I used a drop or two of 
couple drops of a uh, dark brown acrylic paint. Okay, let me finish taking this out. So I used a like a it was a real light tone um, mica powder, and I coated the inside of this mold with the mica powder with a brush. These molds are tough. And so that gave this outside look of this uh, of these hands, which is uh, iridescent. Gee whiz, I'm coming, y'all. Ugh, which is an iridescent, like, I don't know, it looks like a copper, kind of a gold, but these turned out nice, too. Very nice. And then, so you can see, I don't know if you can see the white and kind of brown throughout. That's the... Uh, alcohol ink, brown and white alcohol ink that I swirled in here, which left, you know, this on top. But it's it's all around. This is very nice. I like this color. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Peace and love. Light to you. Love and light. Blessings. We'll see you next time. Thank you very Please. kindly for taking the time out of your busy schedules to come and see what Tracy is up to. I tried to throw all this together with all of my resin work. I might have been all over the place. I'm not sure. I kind of got confused in putting these clips together, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Peace and love as always. And uh, I love you. Take care.